Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. I am Ms. Risara Azman and this is the second part of anaerobic respiration. In this video, I will explain to you about the two common types of fermentation reaction. We know the purpose of fermentation reaction. Okay, so now we are going to look at the types of fermentation. The two common types are alcohol fermentation and lactic acid fermentation. So the first type of fermentation is alcohol fermentation. The process of fermentation happens after glycolysis. Okay, so where pyruvate will be converted into ethanol in two steps. The first step happens where carbon dioxide will be removed from pyruvate. Pyruvate is a three carbon molecule and since carbon dioxide has been removed, okay, um, pyruvate becomes two carbon molecule called acetaldehyde then the second step of alcohol fermentation is redox reaction okay so we have redox here okay so the molecules involved in redox reaction here is any dh molecule and also this acetaldehyde so acetaldehyde will be reduced into ethanol while any dh molecule will be oxidize since they lose electrons so NADH becomes NAD plus okay. and this NAD plus will be used in glycolysis okay so that glycolysis can always proceed forward okay so that ATP molecule can be produced and if you look from the from the image here okay so we have two molecules of pyruvate okay because you have to remember back on glycolysis, chap uh, glycolysis topic. And through alcohol fermentation, only two molecules of ATP being produced through substrate level phosphorylation. This type of fermentation is being used by um, yeast and also um, several bacteria. Okay, for example, you use yeast to make cakes. We apply this process. Okay, to human use okay, when we want to use yeast in bakery products, okay, in the productions of beer, in the productions of wines. And the second type of fermentation is lactic acid fermentation. The process of lactic acid fermentation happens after glycolysis as well. Pyruvate will form lactate in one step. So what happens is there will be redox reaction happen here. So this is a one-step reaction to produce lactate molecule. Okay. So pyruvate molecule will be reduced. Pyruvate is reduced and NADH will be oxidized. NADH lose electrons so they become NAD+. So that electron will be accepted by pyruvate. So they've been reduced and they will form lactate. Same thing with alcohol fermentation. Since NAD plus has been produced, NAD plus will be used in order to run glycolysis forward. Okay, so that glycolysis can always continue. The total number of ATP generated still 2 ATP. So another difference between alcohol fermentation and lactic acid fermentation is there is no release of carbon dioxide which is different to alcohol fermentation and this type of fermentation is being used by uh, for example lactobacillus bacteria the lactobacillus bacteria perform lactic acid fermentation to produce cheese and yogurt and our muscle cells okay muscle cells also switch to lactic acid fermentation when the oxygen supply to the muscle is low for example when you do intense activity okay when you use a lot of your muscles the amount of oxygen that has been supplied to the muscle is low. Okay, so our muscle cell will switch from aerobic respiration to anaerobic respiration. Okay, so the result of it, you will have lactate accumulation in the muscle. So that is all about um, anaerobic respiration. So this is just to show you the three fates of pyruvate. Okay, what happened to pyruvate after glycolysis? Okay, either they go through aerobic uh, respirations or they go to anaerobic respirations through the process of fermentation. From this chapter, when we talk about the process of generating ATP, our substrate from early on from glycolysis starts from glucose.
However, glucose is not the only substrate to generate ATP. Okay, so it's not the only food source uh, to produce ATP molecules. So we have other molecules such as proteins, lipids can also be used to um, generate ATP. Okay, so they will go through the process of cellular respirations, but they will enter at different part. Okay, so that is all about this topic. I hope you understand about anaerobic respirations and you can differentiate them with aerobic respirations. So as an exercise, you could differentiate between aerobic respirations and anaerobic respiration, especially focusing on fermentation. You can differentiate them according to these characteristics, okay? um, definition, locations, uh, the presence of oxygen, the number of ATP produced, and what are the reactions involved in these two processes. Once you are done with this, you can also try to differentiate between alcohol fermentation and lactic acid fermentation. So that is all for uh, this topic's video. I hope you understand this and thank you for watching. Bye!